this is the voice media it is often said that behind every successful man is a woman women are known for their possession of multiple intelligence they are the own makers they understand the needs of every member of the family and support them accordingly the same thing is applicable in managing the affairs of a country to a woman the country is like a child who needs support attention care, love, and affection. And this is shown in the outstanding pattern the Nigeria's first ladies have stood alongside their husbands, giving them comfort, support, and peace, helping them in any way they could to make their day bearable and enable them to succeed and make sound decisions for the country. The first of all the first ladies of Nigeria, Mrs. Flora Azikiwe, wife of Namdi Azikiwe, the first president of Nigeria. She served as the first lady of Nigeria from 1st October 1963 to 16 January 1966 and was succeeded by Mrs. Victoria Ako Eronsi from 16 January to 29 July 1966. From 1st August 1966 to 29 July 1975, General Yakubu Gowon was the Nigerian political and military head of state, and Mrs. Victoria Gowon as the first lady. 29th July 1975 to 13th February 1976, General Murutala Muhammad was the president, and Mrs. Ajoke Muhammad, the first lady. She is a dental therapist by profession. She devotes most of her time to issues in, involving environmental sustainability and preservation. She is the chief executive officer of Murtala Mohammed Memorial Botanical Gardens and also coordinates the Green Belt Movement of Nigeria, which is currently involved in tree planting and other poverty alleviation programs in some parts of Lagos State and others. From 13th February 1976 to 1st October 1979 during Obasanjo military regime, Mrs. Esther Oluremi Obasanjo was the first lady. Then she ruled from 1st October 1979 to 31st December 1983. He had three wives, among which is Ajia Amina Shagari. On the 31st December 1983, Muhammad Buhari came into power as military head of state to 27 August 1985 and Ajia Sefina to Buhari was the first lady. Mariam Babangida, as first lady of Nigeria between 1985 and 1993, she came with a new image of the first lady vocal, determined and fashion conscious. She brought glamour and grace to the position of the first lady and is significant, almost as a sort of government parastatal. She turned the ceremonial pot into a champion for women's rural development. She founded the Better Life Program for Rural Women in 1987, which launched many cooperatives, cottage industries, farms and gardens, shops and markets, women's center and social welfare programs across every state and villages in Nigeria. The Mariam Babangida National Center for Women's Development was established in 1993 for research, training, and to mobilize women towards safe emancipation. She championed women issues vigorously. She reached out to first ladies of other African countries to emphasize the effective role they can play in improving the lives of their people. This move created a new turn of event in first ladyship and study of women in Nigeria. Nigerian women realized that their responsibility does not end in the kitchen and have come together to form associations such as National Council of Women's Society, NCWS, Nigerian Army Officers' Wives Association, NAOWA, and others, with the aim of women development and lots more. She was succeeded by Mrs. Margaret Shonikan. She served as the first lady for less than three months, from August 26, 1993 to November 17, 1993. Her husband, Ernest Shonikan, was the head of the interim government 
After leaving office, she became YX head of national office and served from October 1995 until her retirement in the year 2000. Mariam Abacha was the first lady during General Sani Abacha's regime from November 17, 1993 until his sudden death on June 8, 1998. Fatila Ami Abubakar from June 9, 1998 to May 29, 1999, Fatih, a legal practitioner and wife of General Abdusalami Abubakar, was Nigeria's first lady. After her stint as first lady, she became Niger State's first female chief judge in 2013 and retired in 2016. Stella Obasanjo was the first lady when Obasanjo was elected as president in 1999. She was known for being a political activist in her own right, supporting such causes as women's liberation, youth as leaders of tomorrow, and the rehabilitation of a war-torn Nigeria. She was a trailblazer in her role as first lady and showed Nigerian women the way to becoming more involved in rebuilding of the country. Tureya Hadwa supported her husband, the president, and held the post of Nigeria's first lady from 2007 until the death of her husband, Umaru Musa Yar Adwa, on 5th May 2010. Then patient Jonathan took over from Tureya Adwa and was first lady from 2010 to 2015. Patient Jonathan was recognized locally and internationally for her philanthropic work and political pragmatism. She received the Beyond the Theater International Humanitarian Award, New York, USA, in 2008 for her role in the global fight against HIV and AIDS. The African Goodwill Ambassador Award, Los Angeles, USA, in 2008, and was the recipient of the Wind of Change Award from the South South Women's Organization. In the year 2015, Aisha became Nigeria's first lady on emergence of Muhammad Buhari as the elected president. Aisha Buhari is a cosmetologist, beauty therapist, and women activist. She is the first lady of Nigeria and wife of General Muhammad Buhari, the sitting president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. She is the founder of Aisha Buhari Foundation and Future Assured Program. She is a woman's rights activist and a girl child education advocate. She is a staunch critic of early child marriage, homosexuality, and violence against women. Our foundation is basically concerned about the welfare of Nigerian women and children. The Future Assured program is targeted at ending depression, abuse, and challenges women and children go through. She has done several charitable services like the construction of fully equipped maternity complex at the Daura General Hospital. She has sponsored several surgeries and child health care. In 2017, she placed about 60 orphans from Daura on scholarship and empowered 2,000 women in Adamawa State. She also launches a Green School Agricultural Initiative at Ali Mustafa College, Yola. Aisha's passion for women empowerment grew as a result of her upbringing in the northern region where the female gender was educationally disadvantaged. Aisha has received both local and international recognition for her huge advocacy for women and girl child, some of which include Humanitarian Award, First Honors Award, Washington, D.C. in 2017, World Leadership Prize, Ajo University in South Korea, Global Award of Excellence by Global Empowerment Movement Corporation, USA in 2018. Woman of the Year Award 2019 at the 4th edition of Voice of Women, Voice of Women Conference on 19th November 2019 at NAF Conference Center Abuja. Role Model Award, African Ambassador Interactive Forum 2019 and others. Women are able, women are capable, women are strong and determined. They are the bedrock of societies, for a better Nigeria, more women should be involved in politics. 
Women are naturally solution providers with tender and caring art. My name is Hadiza Babakacha. Thank you for listening.